Paul Basoka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the sixth question from the Digital SAT Test 1, Module 1. This is from the Blue Book app, the harder set of math questions. Number six reads, for a certain rectangular region, the ratio of the length to the width is 35 to 10. If the width of the rectangular region increases by seven units. I'm going to underline some stuff that's important here. Length to the width is 35 to 10. Width increases by seven. How must the length change to maintain this ratio? So one common mistake here is for students to find the area and then try to find the new length to maintain the same area, but it's not asking about that. It's asking about the ratio of the length of the of the rectangle to the width. So, what do we do? Well, we got to set up a ratio. So, if the ratio is, it's ratios usually look like this: 35 to 10. This is length versus width. The ratio could always be written as a fraction: 35 over 10. Then you got to see, hey, what corresponds to what? By the way, you could probably get the answer without doing any math at all here. And what do I mean by that? Here's your little tip or trick here. Because first of all, if the width increases, in order to maintain the ratio, we would need another increase. So a decrease would be gone. A and C are gone. And then what's the decoy answer here? Well, you got to keep in mind that this is SAT. So the student who doesn't know how to do this, if the width increases by seven units, they're going to be like, oh, the length has to increase by seven units. But ratios are not based on addition and subtraction. They're based on multiplication and division. So I'm going to put my money on answer choice B without doing any math at all just using some logic, uh, but 35 over 10 has to equal, now if we increase that width by seven units, it becomes 17, that's 10 plus 17. Remember the width is the second thing mentioned, and that's the 10. Then you got your x over here. So if we cross multiply and set equal, we get 10x equals 35 times 17. And if we multiply that, we get 595. You could use your Desmos calculator in order to do that, Dividing both sides by 10, whenever you divide by 10, all you do is move the decimal once to the left, you get 559.5. And then the question is, how much the length change to maintain this ratio? So what was the length before it was 35? So we'd have to do 559.5 minus 35.0, and we get a 0 0.5, a 4, and a 2, 25.4 it had to increase. So once again, the answer is B. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with ratios or didn't catch some aspect of it. It's a ratio, it's not an area. How to find, you know, that knowing that you should set up a proportion here, cross multiply and set equal, and then subtract in the end. See the full length video, check us out on, this is a full length video. See the one minute video, check us out on TikTok. Have a great day.